everybody, mom vlog time. So first I want to start off by saying check out my adorable new earrings. Are those cute? They look like a little rose. I don't know, I really like them. I like them a lot. Anyway, I got a whole like pack of them, like all that kind of similar style at Kohl's. Really cheap, so awesome score. Anyway, I'm sitting outside. It's actually like way too hot to be sitting outside, but I always sit at my desk and do these, so I was like, eh, let's go outside, the baby's sleeping. Finally, oh my gosh, you guys, the baby was a handful this morning. She was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, but I will never nap. She's actually been really great lately, like perfect. So like today I was like, oh. I think like you forget that they have off days when they're really good for like a whole week and then all of a sudden they have like kind of a bad day. You're just taken aback. You're like, what? Oh my gosh. But anyway. I got my trusty monitor it's in here. So yeah. So um. Oh, and I got a text message. You know how it's rude to take text messages or call on the phone and stuff whenever you're like at dinner. I wonder how that works with vlogs. It's probably rude. So anyway, hi. How you all doing? Pretty good. So yeah. I've been kind of stressed lately about um. Nothing in particular, just like, you know, sometimes you just randomly get stressed. And I'm usually all like optimistic, happy pants, but had kind of like a down week for no real reason. Nothing. Ah, there's a wasp. I hate wasp. This is why we do all vlogs inside. <laughs> I don't not like the outdoors, but I don't like wasp. Who does? Really? If you like wasp, why? <laughs> I don't really care. Don't answer that. I don't care. <laughs> No, anyway, I just, like, had one of those weeks. I think it's because I had, like, a crazy, like, if you're a guy and you're watching this mom vlog, then, sorry, you're just going to have to hear about woman time because, I don't know. Like, why are you watching a mom vlog anyway? It's just, that's the risk, that's the risk you take, guys. So, any dudes watching this, sorry. But anyway, like, I had, like, a weird, crazy, like, like, menstrual cycle. So, it was, like, all late and weird and, I don't know. Yeah, so, for people who were like, oh my gosh, because I had a vlog I did where I was, like, talking about having two kids and what's it like to potty train a kid while you have another baby. So everybody was like, oh, maybe you're pregnant. And I was like, what, if, if I am, you know more than me. So, no, trust me, I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, I think that was why I think I was, like, all hormonal and weird. But anyway, um, I feel awesome now. I feel, like, much better. I think I was just getting overwhelmed, so... It doesn't matter like how great your life is, like sometimes you just get overwhelmed. And I think that's what was happening with me. I felt really behind on like all my video stuff. And not videos just for YouTube, like personal. Like I do a lot of stuff like for personal reasons and I was like, oh, I'm so behind and I want them for memories. And so I was like, that was stressing me out. And then I felt like my house needed a deep cleaning and like all I had time to do was just like picking it up. So I was like, it was like picked up so it kind of looked clean, but I felt like it was still like dirty, you know? So, like, I wanted to, like, steam clean the carpets and everything. <laughs> so, like, that was stressing me out. But anyway, oh, and then I, like, was having trouble fitting my workouts in. And that's really important to me because, you know, I struggle with weight loss a lot. Because it's really hard for me to just, like, um, buckle down. And and I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the fact that there are two spiders, like, having fun over here and Jack's chasing them. Seriously, nature. Why are you freaking me out right now? No, but anyway, um... Like, because it's really hard for me to, like, just stick to being good, so I lose weight really slowly, and, and, um, you know, I, I don't just, like, lose the weight. I have to work for it, like, really hard, and if I don't work really hard every day, like, I don't see results, and so I can't have, like, an off day without it, like, affecting things, so. Anyway, I was really stressed out about all that, so it's nothing big, it was just, like, little things, and, you know, I think, like I said, I think I was just hormonal, so it made it worse, but regardless, Kyle, who is amazing... Just, like, I came home the other day and I've been out all day because Sophie had a play date with twins. How cute is that? I know. I'll do that in a whole other vlog. But anyway, um, and I came home and Kyle was like, I scrubbed all the bathtubs and I did this and that. And I was like, aw. And then Kyle and I alternate taking, putting the baby to sleep. Like, one night I do it, the next night he does it. And we do that because, one, we want her to be used to we don't want her to get used to one parent one person putting her to sleep because what if you know that person's not there and then that kid can't go to sleep we didn't want that to happen so we do that plus it gives the other spouse a break it's like the night that Kyle's putting her to sleep like that's my break I get to go you know do something else and vice versa so anyway 
he said that for the next month while I'm doing that self-imposed 30-day challenge, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my latest weight loss vlog. But anyway, he was like, I'll put her to bed every single night. He's like, if you like work out during that time, if you take advantage of it. He's like, if you're not going to take advantage of it, I'd rather not. But anyway, so I have been. I've been working out every night right when he's putting her to bed. And I just thought that was really nice because honestly, I don't know if I would do the same thing for him. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be willing to do that. So anyway, I thought that was really nice of him. Like really, really nice because he knows it's important to me. And I don't, I don't want to like, um, you know, like mess up that kindness. So I've been working out really hard. But like I said, I'm feeling, feeling much better now. But anyway, the main reason I wanted to do a mom vlog is because I wanted to talk about, you know, you hear people talking about like baby fever. And, you know, people are like asking me if I have baby fever and they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And here's the, the honest truth is I actually don't really have baby fever. Um, what I have is family fever. <laughs> I have like family like, like desire. Um, and like what I mean by that, because I was really thinking about this the other day. I was like just... Hmm, you know, like, what's it? I was like, you know, all these people are like, oh, baby, 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 babies. And I'm like, oh, babies are cute. But I'm not, like, dying to have another baby in the way that I was with Sophie. But I really want to. And I was like, there's a difference. And I realized what it is. is like, I am so excited about, like, having a family. And I know how I want my family to be. Um, you know, God willing. Like, I know how I want my family to be. And I want my kids close in age. I know it's going to be a lot of work when they're younger. But it's just how... I think Kyle and I live our lives and the things we want to do and expose our kids to, it's going to make things so much easier and I think more pleasant if our children are closer in age because it'll just be better. Like every time we go on vacation, we can do the same thing without, you know, worrying about, well, I've got, you know, my seven year old and, um, you know, my five year old and they want to go do the same thing, but then I've got, you know, my one year old. And not that you wouldn't make it work, it's not like it would be a big thing, but like we just, if, if we can have it the way we want, like, we would rather our kids be, you know, seven, five, and four, you know, you know what I mean? Just like all kind of together, because I think the, the, the ventures and the things we want to do in our life would be awesome just to have us all grouped. And that's, you know, everybody has their own idea about like what kind of family they want or what baby they want. And that's like, that's our vision. Like what, when we see our happy family, that's what we see. So I have family fever. I'm just so excited about family more than I'm excited about a baby just a baby I'm excited about having another child and um, I'm not excited about that spider right down there seriously what did not invite him he's all like I'm gonna come do a vlog too my vlog's gonna be better because I've got eight arms anyway <laughs> so but yeah anyway so I'm, I'm just excited about like Sophie having a brother or sister because you guys when if you oh my goodness I cannot wait until we do a mommy meetup because Sophie is like a little social animal um she just adores other little kids she adores other people she just gets in that situation and she's like you give her like two minutes to warm up and then she's like buddy you know and she just loves it she'll just look at other kids and just be like oh. it's it's so great I just think she's gonna love being a big sister like I think she is just going to freaking freak out about it and just love it so anyway, I'm just so excited about family. And I have family fever, not baby fever. You know? Like when I get excited about having another baby, it's in terms of like our family growing. More than it's in terms of like, I miss having a little baby. Because the honest truth is, yeah, like there are certain things about having a little baby that's wonderful, but reality is it's, it's a whole lot of work. And you know, I'm just like, I'm, you know, we'll have our next kids. And then when the last kid is out of diapers, we're done with diapers. And when the last kid's done with that walker, we're done with walkers. And you know, as they get older, we'll have a whole new set of challenges and problems. But we'll, but it's like it'll just be different. Like I said, this is, this is just like our dream, you know. And I don't know, you know, somebody else's dream might be to like have their kids be five years apart, so that the older sibling can totally help with the younger one and respect them, and the little one can have a role model. And like I think that's a beautiful dream too. But you know, it's just kind of like what you envision, and that's what we envision. When we think about our future, we think we just see our family with our kids all close in age and all of us going on trips and, like I said, adventures, you know? Like our little tagline on our um, homepage for YouTube is like adventures and living because that's kind of how we feel like it is, you know? You have all these reality shows out there that, you know, they, but it's like they always have to have a gimmick. It's always something to, like, catch you, you know? It's like, oh, maybe they're all you know, have some sort of health issue or 
they're a huge family or you know there's there's a gimmick like right and like not that that's not interesting of course they have a reality show or there's it's something we watch because it's interesting it's cool to see like how do these families function with these challenges but at the end of the day most families aren't like that and you know I think Kyle and I like we feel like you know we have so much adventures in our lives and we're you know relatively like normal and boring in some aspects but in other aspects like you know this is our life and it's like it's pretty awesome to us you know what I mean and it's like that's why I think I enjoy YouTube so much is because I like watching all these other people who like I don't know I mean I feel like even if you are kind of cliche normal you have enough drama or <laughs> craziness in your life to like make up for everything so yeah Anyway, so that's just like kind of got off on a tangent there, but that's how we feel. Like we just kind of have how we see our life like kind of shaping. And you know, you try not, you don't want to ever look to the future too much because then you're going to miss moments in the present. But um, like I said, we still, even like trying to live that way and trying to enjoy the moment, um, we still, you know, get excited about our future. And you know, and just, we, we just think it's nice and it's awesome. So anyway. So that, yeah, so I just want to talk about that. So baby lust, baby fever versus family fever. Yeah, like I said, I got the fever. The only solution is a bigger family. So, <laughs> so that's that. So that's my mom blog. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about there. So I talked about family fever and like earrings <laughs> and spikers. <laughs> this is probably the best mom blog ever, you guys. I mean, I think this one should totally win some sort of internet Emmy because that was pretty great. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. So, anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will talk to everybody in another mom blog that may be about, I don't know, something more exciting like water. I don't know. We'll see. Don't hold your breath. So, I don't know. All right. Bye, you guys. <laughs>